The political and economic storm facing the United States Post Office could cause some delays with the mail. And we're not just talking about mail-in ballots that could be impacted. Tonight, On Your Side's Jessica Clark reports on what possible delays are in Florida. Al Friedman was a postman for decades. I delivered a route for 22 years. He is now the union president of the Florida State Association of Letter Carriers and says the Postal Service needs financial help because of the pandemic. We're no different than FedEx. We got a stimulus package in early March. 15 to 20 percent of letter carriers in Florida can't work right now because they've been affected by COVID. And so that means other letter carriers are having to work more hours. And the overtime is extremely high. He says some letter carriers in the Sunshine State are working way past sunset. Some of that mail that doesn't come back until 9 o'clock at night, there isn't a truck to take it to the processing plant, let's say in Jacksonville. So that mail will sit there overnight, even though it's outgoing mail. I am seeing that starting because they canceled the late trucks from going back out and getting that as another cost-cutting factor. A cost-cutting factor, he says, put into place under the leadership of the president's new pick for Postmaster General. He says it's causing mail to be delayed in Florida. Much reporting has been about how delays and budget trimming could affect mail-in ballots. But more is at risk than that, such as medicine, paychecks, and invoices. I'm sending a package to somebody that's in a nursing home who could not get anything uh, personally from me if I didn't mail it through the postal system. The Postal Service has a higher approval rating than the federal government. Friedman suggests if you want to help the people who bring the mail and help them bring it without delay, tell your senators to support a stimulus. Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.